On Oahu, there's an event happening where you can enjoy live music and explore the creative galleries. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yep, we're still hanging out here at the Honolulu Museum of Art, checking out Homa Nights, which is tonight and tomorrow from 5 to 9. And we've been checking out all the different fun activities that you can be a part of, whether it is art making in the drop-in art making studio. You saw that in the last half hour, making, making different prints, live music, tasty food from the Homa Cafe. They also have pop-up shops and picnics available to watch some of the movies being played out here at the courtyard. So, there really is a lot to check out, but of course, to tell us more about it, we have Brandy who joins us here from the Honolulu Museum of Art. Good morning, Brandy. Good morning. Thanks. Welcome. Yes, thanks for being part of the show. We appreciate nice. it. So, tell us a little bit about the changes within the last two years because now we're at a point where restrictions are, you know, loosened up a little bit, but there's still guidelines and changes still adjusting to everything. Well, the last two years, you know, we've had our ups and downs, but we're really glad to be back and start to add in more and more interactive activities, which will really enhance your art experience when you visit here. Um, one of the focuses that we like to um, really target is getting more people to the museum, making it accessible for everyone in the community. And when it comes to Home and Nights, all the activities I mentioned does come with the ticket admission, right? It does. So all of the entertainment, all of the drop-in workshops, um, pop-up shops in the shop is free with admission. And kids still get in for free? Kids are free, 18 and under. Um, we also have local college students are also free. And as far as the different creative galleries, I mean, not only are you having residents to come out to check out the museum, but you're also having a lot of visitors as well from across the country. Tell us, um, what's the feedback and their reaction when they come check out the museum for the first time? Everybody loves our museum. We just have a beautiful campus with, you know, over 55,000 works of art. Um, we have 30 galleries. Uh, it's just so extensive what we have to offer here. Um, so Home of Nights is just another added bonus. Um, you can actually do more things here with um, the art making mm -hmm. and enjoy music, sit on our lawn. Um, yeah, so the experience is always well received by all of the visitors. Well, thank you so much, Brandy, for just sharing a little bit about everything that has been going on with the Honolulu Museum of Art and also Home Nights as well. We're really excited. Thank you. And if you want some more details before you head on over here, of course, check our website at kh12.com. You can get a recap of all the different artists that we've spoken to here at the Honolulu Museum, Museum of Art. Until then, reporting from the scene here in Dallas and Averos, K22 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thanks so much, Dallas. Coming up next in our Food to Go segment, we're checking out a restaurant in Waikiki that describes its food as modern Hapa Hawaiian cuisine. Interesting. We'll find out what's on the menu.